When I first heard that we were going to do a car for Gran Turismo, I absolutely leapt at the opportunity. It's the complete dream job for a designer. We knew that with this project, the possibilities would just be absolutely limitless. It allows us to really develop a version of our cars, an ultimate vision of the Jacob brand, if you like. So the drivetrain of this car is fully electric and features an amazing free motor system that's inspired by the high pace and the Formula E Jaguar racing car. It has 750 kilowatts of power and it will launch from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. The battery and motor technology that we're using in Formula E. Vision GT is a blue sky design, so we're not limited by anything. It really is an opportunity to think what could the when we designed this car, we really were inspired by vehicles like the D-Type, this one, the short nose car in front of me, and the long nose one behind me. These cars are about beauty. They're about engineering and art coming together. The ultimate expression of form follows function. We studied the shapes of these cars, and we chose between different cars and those cars have. We really wanted to get that feeling into this car, but still make it feel like a, a car from the future. We love the way these cars are constructed, and we want to do that in a more modern fashion. So we decided to make this car carbon fibre. It really allows us to create this amazing, dramatic shape. If you sit in a D-type, for instance, you've got all this information that wraps right around you. I really wanted this car to take sweep and moves a little bit like Saturn's rings around you and back down again, so you've got all your information and functionality to hand. It has a really nice grip to it. Part of our story is looking through electrification to find to leather. So we have this neoprene inspired material and has a really interesting, um, almost grainless uh, surface to it. We need to make it more tactile. So the way that we designed this Vision GT car is actually really similar to our production cars. So I'll always start with a series of hand sketches. When I've got something that I'm happy with, I'll just scan that in. Start to render that into Photoshop. And then you might go back to paper and sketch over that. We might then scan that in, sketch over it on the computer. And then we'll move to computer-aided modelling, CAS. Virtual reality. Virtual reality allows us to see it for the first time. And if you're really satisfied with something, then we can have that milled into the clay. We'll work between the two, we'll scan the clay back in, and we've been working through the CAS and back and forth. But the power wall kind of allows us to see a car in life size where everything is real. This car will feel absolutely amazing to drive. This monster active aero, this crazy opening canopy. Ultimately, what it delivers is an incredibly competitive, incredibly exhilarating car to drive. I really wanted to get it across. They made this, you know, is this real? So exciting, so visceral, so involving. I would like people to understand that we are actually back in the game.